thing. It's like mm. either way, honestly. Like, but, Chris, what's the video All right, this is about ARs with scopes. ARs with scopes. So breakdown of having yeah, let me a scope on your AR. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Six when you want it, why you might want it. What you might do with it. What you might do with it, and Things why you, might you probably don't, unless it's a 308. Unless. Or, well, not a 5.56. Five, five, not a 5.56. Five, five, yeah. yeah. That's it. Maybe a Grindel. Or a 6mm arc. I was about to say or that. Arc. Somebody was asking me about building a 6mm arc the other day. Are we Are we starting? Are we starting? Oh, are we? Okay. Should we? We should. Okay. We should go. All right, we should go. Right, here we go. Here we go. Gonna wake up. This is it. So this is it right here. Here we go. Is this too much? Like, because I don't have any chest here. You know, we went over that. But oh, yeah. That, no, I no go ahead. Okay. Actually, I think I might even undo one. Yeah. Just for shits and giggles. If I can get it undone. There. Look at cool. that. Perfect. Uh, there's another thing I thought of, too, is like, um, I don't have pink eye now. No, you don't. So, people are going to be like, how often does this dude get pink eye? <laughs> <laughs> Every other video is going to be like, pink eye, no pink eye. It's like, if you're going to eat the booty, you got to be willing to get the cootie, though. So... <laughs> Welcome to the Booth Customs channel. Uh, this is the sixth, sixth, video the sixth video in our AR Optics series. And today we're covering ARs with scopes, when, where, and why. Yeah. So. I mean, uh, it's not quite as... It doesn't pigeonhole you as hard as a uh, LPVO with a top dot from last week's video. But uh, pretty damn close. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Specific use to be sure. Um, so this is a 308 set up for hunting or longer range shooting. Um, it's got a six and a half by 20 uh, vortex on it. Um, and it's very use specific. So you're not going to go out and do a three gun match with this or <laughs> anything like that. And, um, Honestly, you're going to be shooting, you know, distances of at least 100 yards and beyond, probably. So. Right. I mean, you know, and that's kind of the thing with using a scope on an AR. You can put it on a 5.56. You can Good. put it on a 300 blackout. But uh, you're adding a lot of excess weight. Um, an LPVO will get you out to the six 700 mark, mm -hmm. uh, six 700 yard mark uh, that is about where your 5.56 five, starts to really drop off in its effective range. Right. Yeah, and it, another thing, too, is like the LPVO, you know, you're going to have like uh, accuracy at those ranges, maybe not as much precision just because of the way the right. reticle is mostly set up right. with a more traditional uh, crosshair, you know, hash type, uh, type reticle you're gonna be able to have more precise shot placement, which lends itself to using calibers like 308, right. 6.5 Grindel, six millimeter arc, that's for Laz. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, great for hunting, great for if you're trying to, you know, put some precise shots on paper at longer distance is not great for home defense um, right at all <laughs> clear your house with a <laughs> you don't want to clear a house with a uh, <laughs> with a uh, six and a half by 20 scope or whatever you don't so, I do that every day I don't know what you're talking about yeah. you know when you got it you got it maybe one day you can like teach me <laughs> your ways <laughs> right, um, right but yeah I mean yeah, and that's pretty much the gravy on that, I feel like. We could yeah. possibly ramble on and on for a long time. <laughs> like we did last time. Like we did last time. <laughs> this is a reshoot. It's no pink eye. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, you've got, you know, specific uses. Hunting, uh, more precise shooting, like a designated, designated marksman type role for Minecraft. For Minecraft situations. Purposes. But... Um, which once again, you know, you're going to be, you're not going to be using a five five six for a DMR role. Right. Uh, that's not what the five five six is is good at. It'll yeah. do it, but it's not as good. Yeah. To be sure. So, so and then from there, because uh, I know in our other videos we've talked about 
different uh, options on the market, and then price mm -hmm. ranges. And man, with scopes, you could go on for days. Oh yeah, you could actually buy. go on for days. Yeah, literally. There's almost no point in like covering the different right? <laughs> it's because because there are so many different. I mean, you could spend uh, you know five or six hundred dollars on a vortex. Then they also have the vortex offerings. They're in the thousand dollar range. You can get a night force like some of the Gucci Gucci Bros out there. Not to name fingers or point names, but last. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know, you could you could spend you know, twice as much on a scope as you do on your rifle. And some people do that and that's fine. I'm a budget boy myself. Um, so I stick with, you know, the Vortex offerings, their lifetime warranty, very clear optics for the price point. Um, and then, you know, you can go from there. So. Oh, and Shane's going to love this part. He's really going to love this part. Yeah. Uh, glass, where it's manufactured and how clear it is. Uh, Shane... <laughs> 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 Are we sure he didn't want to come today? <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm bummed he didn't. Um, you know, obviously you have your big producers of glass. So you mm -hmm. have obviously China, Philippines, Japan, US, and Germany. There's other places that make their glass, but those are kind of the big dogs in the fight. Um, and with Chinese glass, it's actually gotten a lot better in recent recent years. Um, they're getting better at copying us. Yeah. But <laughs> is what it is. But the uh, middle of the road offerings from Vortex, um, a lot of your, I don't know, maybe five to seven hundred dollar scopes tend to be Filipino glass, which works just fine. Mm. It's not amazing. You're not gonna have those, you know, thousand plus right. yard shots easy with Philippine glass, but it'll do the job uh, if you live in a place like Alabama where. You know, good luck getting past 600 yards just right. because of trees. So, you know, Filipino glass will do just fine. If you really want something a little bit nicer, you go Japanese, U.S., or, or German glass. But you're going to pay a lot more for it. Right. And I'm kind of of the same mindset as you. As nice as it would be to have uh, the razor line, which is Japanese glass. My HSP, HSLR... Or uh, H HST, HST, uh, the HSLR line, Filipino glass does does the job. Yeah, it does it well. So. Something else to uh, to kind of talk about is the type of scope mm. that you're going to use for a roll. Uh, I mean, you've got just regular roll, hitting the range. You have your DMR type, uh, kind of your SPR recce style. If you're going to go that route with a scope instead of an LPVO. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of different options for scope power out there that kind of plays to each role. Yep. And that's something that you have to take into consideration too. Uh, I know that for me personally, on an AR, I'm probably not going to go much past 20 as the high side mm. of power. Uh, just because if there's... I want to reach past that, I'm going to grab my 300 win mag. Right, right. Yeah, there's not much point in going past the 20 power. Um and rule of thumb, like it, was, it could be FUD lore, could not be whatever, but is that for every uh, 100 meters, you need one X of power. And, you know, you're not going to be shooting probably 2,000 meters with, a, <laughs> <laughs> with an AR. <laughs> so, no, no, you're not. <laughs> 20, yeah, 20 is the, is the max that I feel like I would want to go. Um, it just gets just, heavy after yeah. that too. I mean, there's more glass, more weight, right. and uh, I mean, you're probably in Minecraft. You're probably humping around an AR because you don't want to carry a 300 win mag or right. something big, something heavy. Yeah, big so, bolt action. Yeah, the, if your plan is to keep it light and fast and still be able to reach out there, you know, magnification doesn't need to get too high up there because you're going to be carrying around, you know. A, heavy ass scope on top of that right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for target acquisition identification yeah for ars i'd say cap it out at, at a 20 power as right. the tops right that's and just my personal opinion so and what about uh, what's your opinion on the uh, reticle as far as uh, like some sort of like mill dot type thing or <laughs> yeah for scopes i like horse reticles mm. uh, i like the busy reticle but that's a personal preference. Right. I don't like to dial. I like to hold over. Yeah. 
that's my preference. I know there is a lot of people who like to actually make changes, like to dial in their, their windage and elevation. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. But yeah. that's personal preference. Yeah. Shane would be on the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. There. <laughs> He's going to dial it to the bullet. Right. <laughs> Which, hey, you know, if that's you, knock yourself out. Go for yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I think, um, I mean, obviously there's different areas of usability with different types of reticle, but in the end it really comes down to shooter preference and what you're actually going to be doing. This one has just the basic crosshair in there. But that's because as a hunting rifle, I know that, you know, probably 300 yards would be the max range that I would try to take a shot where I hunt. Um, and that would be stretching it for that area. So I don't necessarily need the holdovers. I can just know where my round is going to impact. And within then, 300 meters. Within yeah, 300 it's not meters. Change yeah, that much it's not going to change. Way. Yeah. So, you know, go from there with that. Um, and something that we've talked about before. Where are you? Are you in the Pacific Northwest where your visibility is three feet and there's a tree? Are you in the Southeast where your visibility is maybe six feet until there's a tree? Right. Or are you in Idaho where you can see across the whole freaking valley and your line of sight is six miles? Don't overpower your weapon for your area just because somebody on YouTube said to or because it looks cool. Right. Yeah. If this is a tool that you're going to use in a specific area, tailor it to your area. Agreed. All right. That's that it. That wraps it up for yeah. uh, scopes. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, the algorithm over the words don't like us two-way boys, so let's uh, let them know we still have a voice. And we'll see you guys next week. Happy shooting.